Apple just rolled out the iOS 26 beta. And the first thing that caught my eye as a designer? The new liquid glass effects in the UI. It's sleek, fluid, and it feels almost alive. In this tutorial, I'm gonna walk you through exactly how to recreate the same liquid glass effect in Figma, step by step. Let's start by selecting our wine frame, and I'm gonna select an iPhone 13 mini. Next, I'm gonna place an image on top of it. Let's just adjust so it's in the middle. And on top of that image, we're gonna add our liquid glass effect circle. So to do that, I'm gonna select another frame and I'm gonna make it 120 by 120 pixels. And let's get the rounded corners into 99, so it's a circle. Next, we're gonna use the fill and we're gonna fill it with pure white, which is FFF with opacity 5%. Next, we're gonna go into effects tab and we're gonna start with the first effect, which is background blur. I'm gonna use for this a progressive blur, starting with two and finishing with 10. Next, we're gonna use a drop shadow effect. X0, Y3, the blur I'm thinking eight and spread three again. I'm gonna use uh, off black, which is uh, 35, 35, 35 in hex code and opacity 25%. On top of that, we're gonna start adding inner sh shadow. X0, Y2, the blur we're gonna keep on 10 spread on 5 and also I'm gonna use 35, 35, 35 with opacity 25%. Now we're gonna start adding inner shadows but in white color. I'm gonna leave uh, X and Y on 0 and blur I'm gonna set on 14 and we're gonna use pure white with opacity of 35%. Now we're gonna use our inner shadows to create a borders. So let's go into inner shadows and this time I'm gonna use X1, Y3, Blur on 5, fill up with pure white, FFF, and opacity on 30. So we got this lovely shadow on top showing up. And one more, we want this white shadow at the bottom. So we're gonna do minus 1, minus 3, Blur on 3. And again, we're gonna use pure white, but this time less opacity. Let's try with 10. So the first part is done, it, uh, we get the blur, but uh, to actually get the proper liquid glass effect, we are gonna use texture. So inside that frame, we are gonna draw a circle, which is slightly bigger than our main frame. So if that was 120, we are gonna use like 200 by 200. Let's adjust in the middle. We're gonna fill it with white color with opacity 5%. And then in the effects, first we're gonna select our texture with the size 100 and radius 30. And we're gonna add one more background blur. I'm gonna go with blur number three. So the inside ellipse is doing our texture and the glass effect. We can adjust the glass to be even more blurry or less blurry. I think the three with this size is like the perfect spot. And our main frame is containing everything into this gorgeous shape. We can of course adjust our shadows to be maybe less prominent, like maybe 5%. Same with the other inner shadow, probably slightly less. So now when we're gonna move our shape, we're gonna have this gorgeous liquid effect everywhere. Just bear in mind, if you resize our shape, which is this uh, circle right now, those values will need to be adjusted. So if we now stretch it out, we may wanna adjust our inner shadows to adapt to the bigger sizing, or we can just use the K function and stretch it out evenly. So now let's take it one step further and we're gonna recreate the Apple Music Player. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get another iPhone frame, which is the iPhone 13. I'm gonna fill it with slightly darker gray color. And next we're gonna select our text tool and let's type the name of the song. Let's say, we're gonna select the iOS font, which is FF Pro, medium, and let's give it maybe 14 pixels. Below we're gonna have another text, this time in regular font weight, and it's gonna be the name of the artist. For this one, I'm gonna change opacity to be 50% and let's close it together with auto layout, which is Shift A on the keyboard. And I'm gonna keep it in the middle. Text the same. So that's our text. Next, I'm gonna use the plugin font or some icons to grab some icons for our player. So we will need the pause icon as well as left and right, forward and backward. And I'm also gonna grab this icon for the music. 
which is called uh, waveform lens. For the icons I'm gonna change color to pure white FFF and let's resize them to be maybe 32 so I'm gonna use the K function to scale so the height is gonna be 32. Okay so the pose icon is gonna be somewhere here forward backwards and the wave then free can be slightly bigger so let's try height with 48 pixels okay now it's perfect we're gonna close them down with auto layout so shift a again and let's keep the space 32 and align into the middle next i'm gonna close those two elements with auto layout as well so shift a and this time we're gonna keep the spacing on auto the last but not least we need our progress bar so for that i'm gonna use a rectangle let's say 8 pixels height we're gonna have rounded corners so i'm gonna select 99 and we're gonna fill it with white color first one i'm gonna select 50 percent and then i'm gonna duplicate that rectangle one more time set the progress to maybe just beginning of the song and this time we're gonna fill it with 100 percent of white on our white rectangle the border radius on the right hand side i'm gonna set to zero and let's close them together in a frame or group I'm gonna select group in this scenario. The last two elements is the current time of the song. So let's say one minute and five, slightly smaller, 10 pixels. And the remaining of the song, so maybe two minutes, 12 seconds. All those three elements I'm gonna close together with auto layout, so shift A, and let's give them eight pixels spacing. And now we're gonna close everything together with auto layout again. Let's give it padding of 24 pixels all around, set for hug contents. And now we're just gonna straighten this. So first I'm gonna select that layer to fill container. And this was 32 on 32. So on that part, I'm just gonna have a padding of 32 pixels and hit on fill container in the middle. Perfect, so now we have our Apple player. Let's copy our properties from the glass. So go into copy, copy properties, and just simply paste them into this design. Okay, almost perfect. Let's just straighten into middle, give back our padding and spacing, and adjust our rounded corners. Let's say 15, slightly bit more. Let's go with 25. And let's add image to the back. It's gonna be our background. Hit on the prototype mode and let's preview. To make it more readable, what we can change is we can change background braille from progressive to uniform. So now the text is more readable, maybe 15. And there we go, Apple Music Player with the blur effect. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, leave them down below and check out my Instagram where I share design stuff daily. See you next time, bye.